Let's say I had a function f that took in as input, say, a recording of a spoken word. So say it took in the recording of dog. So I'll just, I'll just put in dog here. And then it outputted the spelling of that word, of the, the word that was kind of spoken into the function. So d o g. And let's say I spoke into the function caramel. So I spoke into the function, the, this function, I'll say spoken word caramel. And it outputted the spelling of caramel, C-A-R-A-M-E-L. But what happens if another person came along and they, they, they spoke into this function caramel? And this function, trying to do its best to do its job, so spoken word caramel and let's say it outputted C A R R A M E L L. Now we know that when people say caramel and caramel they're talking about the same word spelled C-A-R-A-M-E-L. But this function took in two different pronunciations of the same word said differently. It took two different representations of the same word and outputted two different things. Even though caramel, spoken caramel and caramel, are the same thing. That is, they're the same input value, just a different representation for the same thing. So this, this is a good example of a function that's not well-defined. So when we talk about functions that well-defined or in the context of modern algebra, or, or sometimes people call it abstract algebra, people talk about binary operations that are well-defined. Binary operations star. So remember, a binary operation star, defined on a set S, takes pairs of elements in S cross S, so it takes pairs of elements and maps them to the set S. So say A and B are in S, then this binary operation star takes A star B to some element, C, where C is also an S. And let's say I tell you, I tell, or let's say they, they tell you that, that X is equal to A and Y is equal to B. That is to say, X is just a different, different representation of the element A in S and Y is just a different representation of the element B in S. Then, if this, if this binary, binary operation is well-defined, then that means that x star y should be sent to c. It should, the different representations of the same elements should not change the output of this function. So that kind of gives us a sense of what it means for a binary, binary operation and a function in general, because a binary operation, binary operation is a function. So it get, kind of gives us a sense of what, what well-defined means in the context of binary operations and functions.